out there. See ya. I have to go wide to miss this sign over here. Is this? Yeah. You get... <laughs> Chick-fil-A success, now we can get to the pond. A little tight over here at the Chick-fil-A. Oh, that's a curb. All right. Iced vanilla coffee, some chicken minis, and a scramble for dev. All right, guys, welcome back to another episode over on the Weston Smith channel. Today is gonna be in Urban, Texas. Boat slam in a small pond. The place is crazy. We are in the middle of the urban atmosphere. Literally apartments on one side of this place, office buildings and fast food on the other. This is the smallest place you've ever seen us drop in the boat. Today's episode is sponsored by Mystery Tackle Box. They've been longtime supporters of the channel and not only that but we've been using and loving their service for the last year and a half and we're going to tell you more about it on the water. Let's go ahead and first try and get this boat launched man because the ramp here is a little sketch. Um, it looks like there's somebody on a little pelican style boat out there right now though so we're gonna go ahead and back this thing in and uh have some fun hey. oh, sand, boys. all right torrance is also here with us gonna help complete the slam if he chooses he can throw whatever he wants but you know if he decides to throw something out of the mtb box it's plus yeah i'm gonna give it a try man all right let's, see. let's get it all right y'all the other gentleman here in that pelican style boat is actually deciding to load up right as we're about to drop in so we're gonna hang out wait on him it's gonna take him about 10 minutes in that time we're gonna go ahead and show you guys a couple of these baits we're gonna just take advantage of this and tie on a few items out of the mtv pro box man let me show you what we're working with we've got some yoda worms you guys have seen me throw these in some previous videos we have a top water frog conditions are looking pretty froggy pretty froggy it isn't like first thing in the morning but i think we can get a hit if we cast it into the right places we'll tell you about all those you get your card showing you what came in your box you can actually try your first box for as low as ten dollars with my name weston you can use that code when you go to pick yours up there's a link in the description there's going to be a pinned comment uh, and so if you guys want to get on this mystery tackle box game and try a slam for yourself they're always a ton of fun and you can do that for as little as 10 bucks your first box lake fork trophy lures worms guys these look perfect for wacky rigging we might do a couple different things with those we shall see we also got a crankbait i'm unsure of the depth here but we're going to figure it out because this is our first time taking some graphs out at the spot you got tips and tricks guide a little talk about the yodo worms a little talk about the filthy frog and then you got these things i've never used they're called headbangers rocker heads it looks like uh, yeah we're just gonna have to experiment with these things it almost looks like it's gonna swivel and cause a lot of commotion in the water and you just put a crawl trailer on there and this comes with some sort of baits that we might try and rig up on there i would call these a creature bait and we also got a jig man so let me go ahead rig a couple of these things up and we're gonna be in the water in no time yeah drone's running and we were about to back the thing in but we should probably put the plug in take off the motor support and unstrap the boat we kind of uh forgot because homie yeah he threw off our whole mojo man he's like y'all don't mind if i pull my boat out real quick i was like nah slipped my mind so let's go ahead, get all this stuff taken care of. Make sure we don't just take on a ton of water and then we gonna get our heads in the game. All right, I think we're straight. Let's go y'all, lines in. All right, y'all, I'm going straight for a wacky rig. These look like they got some excellent action. And, uh, ooh, they got a nice scent. Lake Fork Trophy Lures. Lures with an attitude, they say. Well, good. I'm just gonna straight up put you wacky style on here. And we might just get a, we might get a bite pretty quick on that. Look at that. Let's work our way over to this wall. A little bit shallower. Wow, that, that looks really good. This is the money right here. I'm just gonna go ahead and say, first catch out of the box, this might be this might be too easy. Potential storms heading this way in a couple hours. These things, they might just be fired up, y'all. Overcast, this is like one of the first days it feels good to fish in Texas in a while. All right, guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and toss on the Yodo Worm. It's a, This is a newly released bait by Ketchco, so it's pretty cool to get it into the MTB box. Just a creature bait, very versatile, but I've got it rigged up drop shot style keeping it super simple. I'm gonna be throwing it on the finesse gear, so even a one, two pounder should feel like a five or a six, so let's go. Dude, look at the wall. Bro, there's a fish right here. Look at this. There's a fish cruising along the wall, guys. That bass is on the prowl. He's cruising out now. He probably hears me. He's right over here in the corner. He's like on my worm. No way. I mean, this bass is looking at my worm right now. I see the worm, I'm popping the worm. Y'all see it, look, boom, boom. See it, boom, boom. There's my worm right there, so sick perspective mode man all right y'all i got my eyes on this little stick right here and some shade under this brush 
and I completely missed that. There we go, that should do it. If you got a T-Rig set up too, you can put this Yoda worm on there or even put this on a jig or something. Y'all check this out, dives about six feet. I'm gonna go ahead and put on this Bill Lewis crankbait, little shad color, just the right profile too, just real small. I'm sure there's not like the most gigantic bait fish in here. This should match the hatch very well. I got a lot of confidence in these white or shad colored crankbaits. I mean, I've just had so much luck in crystal clear water all the way to stained water where there's hardly any visibility. This thing should get some attention. And with that bill, some of this here on the bottom, it's hard bottom. If there's some rock and stuff, you deflect off that. As I'm cranking, if I feel a deflect off some rock or some wood, I just pause it for a second. Usually that noise gets the bass attention. They'll key in on it and you might get a strike while you've just got it paused. So let me rig this crank up and we gonna get him in the water as well. Just wanna have a couple options rigged up for us to throw and switch between. I'm tying my Palomar knot as usual. Drop shots, that's the thing, man. Drop shots get stuck so easily. Also going to Texas rig a Yoda worm real fast and see if we can't get this under this tree that's coming up here. We're gonna be putting this on a four aught hook. Texas rig is all set up. This is gonna be good for those areas like coming up where this tree is at, where you can get a lot closer to that cover and not worry about getting snagged up like that drop shot Devin's throwing. She's currently snagged. So we are gonna go free that and we're gonna throw the Texas rig. What you gonna do with all them fish? All them fish that ain't biting. What side of the lake do they like? Switching to forwards mode. Hanging out in a little bit deeper water now, y'all. We're gonna see if we can't find them on the forward. I see you. Right there. Right there, there's some. Oh, oh. Yeah. There we go, there nice. we go, there we go. Nice, nice, nice. Come on. All right. Oh, 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 oh. Swoosh. Wow, how about a, oh. how about a. Wow, uh, that's a big old sunfish or whatever you call that dang Is it thing. a warhead? Warmouth? Yeah, warhead. Warmouth is <laughs> how about a warhead? <laughs> oh my God, look at his teeth. He's got some crazy teeth. Yeah. Look how red his eyes are. Holy that's moly. That He's like, rawr. Yeah. That's technically a, a Yoda worm fish. Yep. It's a multi-species catcher. All right, we'll go ahead and let you go. One last look at this little chunk. Let me know, is it a war mouth? Some sort of sunfish? Super red eyes, let us know in the comments. Bite. Oh, there we go. Right back here, it's just bait, but at the same time, where they're bait, they're bass. All right, since I got that catch on that Yoda worm, I went ahead and switched things up. We're gonna go with these uh, Gambler Go Fishes. It's another creature bait style, but it's black and blue. I went ahead and just Texas rigged it up. It's got some crazy looking appendages. Let's go. Work us forward, straight forwards, just a little bit, babe. Oh, I got fish. No way. Yeah, got fish. Nice, on that blue. Just there. Whoa. Come here. Okay, so Devin is taking over the slam. That's the species we're looking for. There you go. Nice. There go. That was like a couple casts in. Yeah. Well, Spot lock. All right, y'all, another bait down. This was on that Gambler Go Fish. I believe the color is called Why Not? Uh, like second cast, super cool. We've got it rigged up on a quarter ounce weight, four out hook, 15 pound fluoro, getting the job done. First bass in the boat, second bait down. Let's get him back in the water and go after some more. Hey, Torrance, look at this brush pile out here. Hold on, let me find it. See that brush pile on those fish on there, the bait fish? It's this way. Okay, dude, it's right under the boat, 10 feet down. Okay, I see your bait dropping. Pop it and bring it in. Come up here, I can't see your bait. There it is, there you are. All right, so you're a little to the right of them, but, but keep popping. Guys, I'm gonna hit that Texas rig up because they're on the bottom, but the thing is, I want, my, I want my bait to get down there real quick and I wanna work it a little bit faster than that drop shot. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that worm that we got and I'm just gonna break off a little bit of the head. That way it's more flat. It's got kind of like this rounded head, right? Perfect for a wacky rig. But what I wanna do is have it flush with my bullet weight. So I am going to toss this on the hook right here. So I've got it now flush mounted with that uh, weight right there. Looks juicy. All right, let's start working this thing on the bottom. All right, we got a quarter ounce swim jig with a Yoda worm on the bottom. We're out here fishing on the bottom. Um, Devin's already caught a fish on the bottom bait. So I was seeing if we could just throw a jig and maybe catch a good fish on it. This, look at these guys. And we actually caught them on a jig before over here, so who knows? We know the Yoda worm's already hidden today, and then the fish that Devin caught earlier actually look exa almost exactly like this, so maybe we're matching the hatch. So we're gonna give it a, a few more casts, and then we're gonna switch to the frog. Yeah, we've been back boating Torrance a little bit, so uh, <laughs> he's now up front, and I'm just on the remote control. I've just got the uh, trolling motor on like three power out of 20. It says we're going like 0.9 miles an hour, and we're just working the bank up here. 
That way I don't have to be on the front hogging up all the deck space and we can all get on some fish. Just keeping us kind of parallel with the bank, maybe 20 feet off, 30 feet off. And uh, hunting for that next fish, man, because the bites have been slim so far, but they're here. Oh, ah, no. Dang, that was my first bite of the day. Oh yeah, I'm stuck. It's not just a log, it's a... It's a whole tree system. Oh, uh, there we go. It's Got a it? a shopping cart. Oh, it is a shopping cart. A Let's see what's in here, y'all. This was a good spot for our buddy last time we were out here. He brought a couple out of these things. How are they not under here? This is interesting. Nope. Let us know if you want to see more videos like this. <laughs> <laughs> Saving lures, not catching fish. Hit the notifications, because that's something a little bit different than you see on most vloggers' pages. Man, they actually catch stuff, not us here. We keep it interesting. We show you how to lose money and have fun while doing it. You mean to tell me? I still have my worm. Just kidding, we don't lose money out here. Best bet might be that big crank the deep diving crankbait we've been catching one might just work better to pump it off the bottom yeah i tried that last time well we have worked the columns and it is per the usual no bites we had to wrap things up but i hope you enjoyed today's video sponsored by mystery tackle box i'm glad we were able to showcase all the different baits out of the box except for the frog torrance had used that and uh and we didn't get any hits on that thing either it was just a slow bite that day and there's nothing wrong with that we got out and had a ton of fun i hope you guys enjoyed it once again and we'll catch you on the next episode peace out <gasps>